Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering Strassen's Matrix Multiplication Algorithm. Guys, I have already explained Strassen's Matrix Multiplication example. First, learn example and then go for algorithm. If you watch this algorithm directly, you will not understand. So, first watch Strassen's Matrix Multiplication example. I will provide that video link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. In linear algebra, Strassen's algorithm is named after Walker Strassen. The name itself says Strassen's matrix multiplication. So it is an algorithm that is used for matrix multiplication. We use Strassen's matrix multiplication because it is faster than normal matrix multiplication. So we use Strassen's matrix multiplication and it is suitable for multiplying large matrices. We can perform Strassen's matrix multiplication only on square matrix. Square matrix is nothing but matrix in which number of rows is equal to number of columns is known as square matrix. For example, this is square matrix because it contains two rows and two columns. So it is square matrix. It is performed only on square matrix of order of both matrix must be n cross n. For example, size of this matrix is 2 cross 2 that is 2 rows and 2 columns similarly another matrix also should contain 2 rows and 2 columns so both size of this both matrices should be same in order to perform Strassen's matrix multiplication the idea of Strassen's method is to reduce number of recursive calls to 7 so its total time complexity is O of n to the power of log 7 because it reduces number of recursive calls to 7 so this is time complexity of Strassen's matrix multiplication and in Strassen's matrix there are 7 multiplications, 4 additions and 4 subtractions. Now I will write algorithm for Strassen's matrix multiplication. As I already said if you watch algorithm directly you will not understand. So first learn example of Strassen matrix and then go for algorithm. I will provide example link in description. You can watch from there. This is an algorithm step 1. Step 1 is start. Next step 2. Because we are starting algorithm. So I written start in step 1. And in step 2, I am performing Strassen's matrix multiplication on two matrices. That is matrix A and matrix B. So write Strassen of matrix A comma matrix B. We can perform matrix multiplication only if length is greater than or equal to 1. So if length, if length of matrix A equal to 1, then return, return A into B. That is, if length of matrix is greater than 1, then we can perform matrix multiplication. Now we are performing a matrix multiplication on matrix A and matrix B. So step 3. In step 3, we will split matrix A and matrix B. Then split matrix A into four parts that is a11 a12 a21 and a22 for example this is matrix matrix contains this is two cross two matrix it contains two rows and two columns a11 a12 a21 and a22 i am splitting matrix a this is matrix a i am splitting this matrix into four parts that is a11 a12 a21 and a22 this is meaning of this Next split matrix B into four parts that is B11, B12, B21 and B22. This is step 3. Next in step 4. In step 4, I took alphabets from P to V that is P, Q, R, S, T, U and V. Now we need to apply formula for this. Formula of P is A11 plus a22 into b11 plus b22 next formula of q is b11 a11 b11 of a21 plus a22 this is formula of q next formula of r is a11 into b12 minus b22 next formula of s next a22 and b2 formula of s is a22 of b21 minus b11 this is formula of s and formula of T is B22 of A11 plus A12. This is formula of T. Next formula of U that is B11 plus B12 into A21 minus A11. B21 plus B22 into A12 minus A22. Already said that 
Starson's matrix contains 7 multiplications, 4 additions and 4 subtractions. If you count this, you will get 7 multiplications, 4 additions and 4 subtractions. Next step 5. If you perform matrix multiplication on matrix A and matrix B, you need to store result on matrix C. So, matrix C contains C11, C12, C21 and C22. C11 equal to P plus S minus T plus V. And whereas C12 is R plus T. T21 is Q plus S and C22 is P plus R minus Q plus U. And step 6. In step 6, you will get result of matrix C. That is C11, C12, C21 and C22. When you get result of matrix C, you can stop. Step 7 is return C because this is result. So, I am returning C and at last step 8 is stop. This is Strassen's matrix multiplication algorithm.